Welcome to What's in the Mother Bag with Golf Sidekick, 2023 edition. Big changes. But as I'm standing on the rocks, as you can see, I have a rocky relationship with this club. This is my driver. I've just learned how to hit it. It's still the old Ping G400. One of the best they've ever made, still playing it. And I still have the X-Flex Tour AD graphic, whatever design shaft in here Eric gave me. We're probably gonna redo it and refit it because my swing speed is now at about 115 to 116 miles an hour playing speed. Why is that? Because I've been training in the gym. I've added 22 pounds of solid man steel power to my body and about 12 pounds of Michelin man around the middle of my waist. Next is the three wood. I got rid of that Callaway epic flash junk because all it did was go a long way the wrong way, no spin. I don't know what rhymes with spin. So what I have in here is the Ping G425. Now last time I screwed that up in my what's in the bag. Yeah, that's a G425 Max. I've got an extra Ping standard fit shaft in here. I think it's too low flex because it spins a lot. This is high spin, more win. Next, we have a beautiful water player head cover. And we're still playing the seven wood from Ping. This is a G410. 7 wood, 20.5 degrees. I have a stiff regular flex in here. Many people will argue and say, this is not stiff regular, it's senior, soft regular, wrong. It's stiff regular. Thanks very much. I know what I'm talking about. The biggest change has been my irons. Out with the old, in with the new. What's the new? Tacomo is what's up. Tacomo is a beautiful Finnish company. Look at that. Just get that with the flowers in the background. That looks really beautiful. Tacomo will thank me. This is a Tacomo 301 MB. I'm playing four iron down to pitching wedge. That may change because sometimes I don't need a four, sometimes I don't need a five. I hardly hit the five iron, but the thing that I find the best about them, they're easy to hit. Once I had them swing weighted to D2.5, which is what I like, absolute money makers. Now, four iron, five iron, six iron. This is taking too much time, seven, eight, nine iron. I'm also playing Sky Forger wedges by Tacoma. And the reason we're doing this in a clockwise motion is because if you add up all the degrees of these clubs, it equals 360 degrees, just like this panoramic view. I'm playing the 48 degree, which I love from 125. I don't really hit the 52 degree much, so I might take it out the bag. 56 degree is great, got a big sole, a lot of bounce. It's a sole, but it's not a soldier, something like that. And I open that, th that thing up real wide. It comes out of the sand, fluffy sand, like cake out of a baby's bottom. Not sure what that means. 60 degree, I like to use that on pitch shots. Only firm sand, wet sand. I don't like it in fluffy sand. That never gets out the bunker. When you open the face up on these clubs, especially the, the 56 and the 60 degree, it gives you nice high floaty lob shots. I couldn't hit those before. A lot of confidence with these two. Don't hit this one much. 125, a lot of confidence. Pitching wedge, like a bizarrely. Well, I'm sorry that this video is so professional and corporate but head office has told me at Water Player to let you know all about the bird dog putter. This one is absolutely money. As you can see, the cameraman is extremely professional. This is a brave new step into the world of high production. This is going to be an amazing, <laughs> an amazing putter. Okay, at the moment it's silver, it's chrome, and it's got a beautiful milled face. This is going to be more like an oil paint, oil paint can, oil paint can finish. It's, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen, corporate style. And it's going to have a lovely silver shaft and it's going to finish with a thick grip, but it's going to be a cock and balls grip. Why? Because we all love cock and balls. But what's in the bag? That's the key question. I don't carry much anymore, but what I do carry are these two great rangefinders. Now these are two of the best in the business. This is a ShotScope Pro LX with a H4 or V4, I don't know which one, but it's a little handheld uh, GPS that just clips in here at the magnet. So you not only can you shoot 
ping ping, but once you shoot the distance, you can double check here, front and back and middle of the green. Now that's money. But the one I use the most is this Voice Caddy L5. Now this one, I'm being dead serious right now. From over 185, 190 yards, this one is better than a Bushnell. Why do I say that? Because it picks up the pin much better with a background behind it than a Bushnell. B-Dog uses the Bushnell V4, and when we need a longer distance uh, to, to shoot with the rangefinder, we take the Voice Caddy L5 and we give it a little bing bing. Love it. These two money. Check the description in the link below or the link in the description. You know, I'm getting tongue tied here because I'm trying to be, remain professional because we've just hired a cameraman, as you can tell by the movement of the camera. My ball of choice in this game of golf is the Volvic S4. Now this is my preferred one, the S4. If I can't get hold of an S4, I normally play the S3. So the difference is the S4 is a four piece and the S3 is a three piece. For me, not much different. They go long and they stop quick sticks. Loving that. Also, one big recommendation I can make here, get arm sleeves, okay? Our wives, our girlfriends, they're always nagging us to put this stuff on, sun cream, right? I don't like it. I don't believe in this stuff. So I use arm sleeves when I have to. When I've got a little bit lobster red and I'm getting no complaints at home, I just say, yes, I've packed my sun cream. But me, really, I've packed my arm sleeves. And then I do a button up on the top, pull the collar, pull the hat over, don't get so burnt. Maybe a little on the nose, a little red. That's why they call me Cherry Red. One final piece. I guess, well, we always have to carry this. This has been there a while. It's had a few uses. This is a toilet roll, and I've had to flatten it because it wouldn't fit into the side pocket there. You need a quick access, you know? You got it, you've just had your coffee in the morning, you've hit the first tee, bam! Straight to the bushes, wing, wing, wipe, wipe, swing, swing. That's what I'm talking about. That's all we have time for on this edition of What's in the Mother Bag with Golf Sidekick. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. In the meantime, I'd like to let you know what else I'm carrying. I'm carrying an extra 22 pounds of weight on my figure. And uh, as you can tell, it went all to my hips. Why? So that I could show off these brand new shorts from waterplayergolf.com. These will be available soon in the summer. Do not miss out on these. I'm not revealing too much about how they're made because they will be copied. Mark my words, they will be copied. Now please like, share and subscribe to this video because this video was a game changer for you. I know it was, as it was for me. We've gone corporate, we've gone full on, we've hired ourselves a camera lady, camera person, camera, uh, them. camera them. We've got a camera them behind the... <laughs> uh, we've got a camera them behind the camera. And <laughs> And it's, it's doing a world of good here because I didn't have to put it on a tripod and just have that stationary POV Gonzo style film. So please, <laughs> listen, when we hired you, we didn't expect the laugh track, okay? That comes after, like friends, the thing that's not funny. We put the laugh track afterwards.